So, okay, so what happens is, so sugar is addicting. They have found, um, there's studies that show, I think it was Yale University that did some studies, and they, sh they compared um, obese brains to the brains of people who were addicted to cocaine. And the reason they chose obese, not that someone who is obese has a sugar addiction, because obesity can certainly come from genetic factors, um, and it can come from foods that are just high in calories or just eating more calories than you're burning. That's it, right? So it doesn't necessarily come down to sugar, but, but more than likely someone who is obese is eating foods that are high in sugar, or maybe is eating them in amounts that are out of control. And so that's what they went with the obese brain for. So what they found was that the dopamine receptors were completely um, muted in both those brains. So what that means is um, in a normal brain that's not addicted to sugar or a substance, uh, your dopamine receptors would go off when you see something or you know you're getting something that's exciting, like a donut when you don't normally eat a donut, or, um, you know, uh, you know, high carbohydrate pasta, something like that, that would have that sugar when it's broken down to, you know, something that just sounds good. So in people that eat too much sugar and become addicted to it, their dopamine receptors are muted, so they don't liven up when they see those foods. So what that turns into is that those foods, when you're used to getting them constantly, you have to keep having them. It's kind of like a fix, much like an addict. So even when you're trying to pull back, there's a phase where your body has to adjust to that, almost like a withdrawal phase for an addict. And that's what I was talking about too, with like separating that connection between food and emotion. Like instead of thinking, I had a hard day, I deserve this ice cream sandwich. Maybe I had a hard day, I deserve this time with my friend. Or I deserve to watch this TV show and take a minute and relax or go for this run that I've been waiting to do all week or whatever it is talk about the myth that's kind of uh, come up probably in the past two decades even uh, that carbohydrates are a bad thing or that we should avoid carbs or reduce the carbs in our diet um, they're definitely not bad for you and I, I think I want to address that specifically with the youth because we need carbohydrates they give us energy they fuel our daily activities they give us brain power um, you couldn't function or think properly without carbs in your diet on a daily basis, uh, especially if you're athletic, especially if you're doing exercise on a daily basis, you need carbohydrates. I think what the issue though was for a while and, and what kind of sparked the trend to go to no or low carbs was the type of carbs that people were eating. So I think that a lot of people chose you know, refined, packaged um, carbohydrate options like white bread versus whole grain bread or um, you know, uh, sugary, you know, refined cereals versus whole grain options, things like that. White, white rice versus brown rice, um, white potatoes versus sweet potatoes, that sort of thing, which are sweet potatoes are like kind of the whole grain option of a potato. Um, so I think what was going on was the ramifications of choosing the wrong carbohydrates caught up to people. And so then carbohydrates got a bad rep. You certainly need carbohydrates. I think it's just about finding the types that work best for you and then also just switching for the healthier options. So fruit and vegetables are wonderful sources of carbohydrates. High in fiber, tons of vitamins and minerals um, still give you what your body needs. Uh, whole grain options, definitely. Um, and just thinking about eating the whole grain options in the whole grain version. So eating a bowl of wheat berry rather than eating a whole grain bread is even sometimes better and sometimes we don't think about trying that. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.